Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download and a 30-day free trial at audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews. Dan Dan the Art Man's Book Reviews, Episode 61, Nocturnal, by Scott Sigler. There are so many reasons this book was an awesome read, so I'll just write them all down for this review. First of all, I love buddy cop stories, and Brian and Pookie are an awesome pair. They have such unique, well-rendered character that you feel like you know them right away. I loved how calm, cool, and collected Brian was, while his partner Pookie is jovial, loud, and irreverent. The banter between them was hilarious and made me laugh out loud many, many times. I love those two characters. Other than the two main characters, there's a slew of many more, and they're all great, too. They felt like real people I've met. This is a big book, and all the characters making it come to life were fun to get to know and love to hate. The bad guys in this book are terrifying. I won't give away anything, but let's just say the heroes have what seems like an impossible challenge going up against them. They were really interesting, and even though they were pure evil, you get to read many chapters through their points of view, and you can see why they do what they do, even though it's nightmarish. Another great thing in this book is all the mystery. I love mystery, and there is a lot of it in this book. When things are revealed, the payoff is huge and world-altering, and I found myself saying things out loud like, Holy crap! Or, Yes! Or, oh, That is awesome! I listened to the audio version of this story and never really paid attention to how long it was. I was hooked right away, and once I realized how long it was, I was so pleased. I didn't want it to end. I wanted to keep hanging out with the characters in this book, solving the mysteries and facing off against the beyond creepy nocturnals who live under the city, feeding off those who won't be missed. The story got more and more complex as it went on, and you get to know the city, the mysteries it holds, and the characters who try to protect it and steal victims from it in a much more intimate way. It's both intriguing and terrifying. It's a very long book, but it reads so easily, you find yourself getting through huge chunks of story every time you read it. It stays in your mind, and you look forward to the next time you'll get to pick it up. This is easily one of the best books I've ever read and has become a favorite. It has so much to offer from its rich, scary world, its hilarious dialogue and banter, its huge stable of incredibly realized characters, its mysteries that draw you further into the story, and all the amazing action scenes that make you read faster because you have to know what happens next. Five stars for this one was a no-brainer, and I can't wait to read the next Nocturnal book, even though I know it's at least a few years off. I'll be waiting to pick it up and hang out with these characters again. That is, the ones who survived the first book. Oh man, I do remember this being like my favorite read of the year. Although I think I also read this the year I read all of the Harry Potter books. So, I have some great news for you guys, the listeners of this podcast, because you can get a copy of Nocturnal, written by Scott Sigler and narrated by Phil Giganti in audiobook format, for free. This podcast is sponsored by Audible, and so if you go to audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews, you can get any audiobook of your choice, you get a free audiobook. But this week I'm highly recommending Nocturnal by Scott Sigler. And the narrator, Phil Giganti, has a real command 
uh, in his voice and a real command of narration. He has an awesome, deep voice, uh, sort of like mine is this week. I have a little bit of a cold. Sorry about that. Hopefully it just makes it sound cooler. <laughs> but seriously, uh, Phil Giganti is a, is a great narrator. And he takes this already amazing story and just makes it that much better by bringing super professional quality narration to the story. Uh, Scott did a great job picking him out. I'm not really a huge fan of horror novels, and Scott Sigler writes a lot of horror, but he also writes a lot of awesome, like, near-future sci-fi into his uh, stories. And in this case, it was cool to see him write some fantastical elements. There are some very real monsters in this book, and getting to know all about them was pretty intense and insane and cool and scary. And I was laughing a ton, and anyways, check it out, Nocturnal, for free as an audiobook at audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews. You'll get a free audiobook, any one of your choice, and a free 30-day trial of Audible's awesome service. And when you do that, you're helping support the show. So thank you, and thanks to Audible. Now, let's get back to that review. All right, I've read a few of Scott's other books, and I've really liked all of his stuff. He's a great author, does a great job putting together his stories and um, telling them in a way that makes you, like, super excited or cringe if it's, like, brutal, <laughs> uh, but also laugh a lot. He has a great sense of humor. And, uh, yeah, seriously, like, if I hadn't read all seven Harry Potter books in 2015. This would have easily been my favorite book of the whole year, but it's right up there. Uh, and it was a nice, well, actually when I finished Harry Potter, I just kind of wanted to read it again, but it was a nice, uh, change because it was very different from kids in a fantastical world. It was very real, even though it had supernatural monsters in it. It was a very real book that just you felt like you were on the streets solving mysteries and uncovering these super creepy monsters. It was awesome. And the um, character arc for the main character, Brian, who's a cop, dealing with all these supernatural things, there's really a lot to his character arc, and he goes on quite a journey of, I would say, self-discovery and finding all kinds of new things going on in his life and I will not spoil anything so that's all I'll say But and then his partner Pookie I think it's Pookie Chang uh, man <laughs> he is irreverent uh, and this book has a lot of swearing and stuff but um, I don't think there was really any sexual stuff but there's a lot of crass stuff in there and so watch out for that but man, this book was so good, and Pookie Chang was irreverent, but very funny, and this book just was really well written, and for how long it is, I don't remember, let's see, okay, yeah, <laughs> the audiobook is 22 hours long, I'm telling you guys, it feels like it's a normal 8 to 10 hour long audiobook, like a normal length novel, but because it reads so well, you just breeze through it. It was that good. But, man, that's long. <laughs> it does not feel that long, though, so that's how great it is. Really liked it. Nocturnal by Scott Sigler. Check it out. He has a ton of awesome books. He has some YA stuff, some horror, lots of great stuff. So check him out. That's all I got for you guys this week. Hope you guys are having a great year of reading. And I'll talk to you next time. Mike, take it away. This podcast is licensed under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial, no derivative works license. Music by Kevin McLeod, found at incompetech.com. The website that goes with this podcast can be found at dandantheartman.com. And you can follow Dan on Twitter, Google+, and Facebook at dandantheartman. For Dan, this is Mike Luoma, saying happy reading. And we'll see you next time.